all you need for today's workout is a pair of dumbbells if you don't have dumbbells or you've only got like really light ones or whatever then then you can also use no you can't for the first one <laughs> um, but there's a lot of exercises that you can just use the um like a kettlebell if you've got a kettlebell instead do you have a recommended weight what for dumbbells yeah i've got a two kilogram pair and another pair but i don't know which ones to use what what's the other pair um um yes yeah, Savon 1.5 that's what you've got that's um I've got four as well okay we'll just mix, mix them up between the two okay start off light just yeah. to be warmed up then go heavy um but then if it gets too much go back to your light okay thank yeah? you um right okay girls we're gonna get you warmed up to start with so if you could just start jogging on the spot for me using your arms as well Okay, so we've got a little hip base session. We've got a bit of upper body, a bit of lower body, and a bit of core as well in today's session. Mondays are usually upper body focused, but I thought as it's the first one, I'll do a little full body. Um, so normally, yeah, it will be kind of an upper body one on a Monday morning. Right, okay, take it into star jumps. Okay, if you can't jump for any reason, I think I can see you're jumping, but the low impact version is just a step to one side like that. Make sure you're using your arms. When you do your star jumps, come right up, right down. Really get those arms moving. Not, not really this, full. Brilliant. Okay, keep going. <clears throat> Another 30 seconds. Okay. Keep doing that. I'm going to show you the next move. You're going to walk out into high plank position. You're going to come back up and stretch up. Okay, three, two, one, walk out. So you're going to walk your hands out into high plank position, walk back, stretch up. Lovely. Okay, you're going to do five of those. Once you've done your five, just start jogging on the spot again for me. Okay, next move, you're going to come here. You're going to stretch out. Okay, you're going to come back. Okay, we're going to do that for a minute. Okay, off you go. Lovely, I'm going to carry on doing it. So you've got the back knee on the floor, coming into plank position each time you change. Good. 
Brilliant girls, well done. Another 30 seconds here. Just keep changing. Lovely, okay, the final minute of your warm up. I just want you to move your arms and jump. Okay, and just pretend you've got a skipping rope and you're gonna jump. Okay, final minute of your warm up, off you go. Brilliant. Hold well on, girls. Keep going. Last 20 seconds. Three, two, one. Rest there. Okay. Warm up complete. Grab yourself a drink. Okay, first move. You're gonna take your dumbbells, palms facing outwards. Okay, you're gonna come up, touch them at the top and come back down. Okay, that is your first move. Yeah, we're going to do that twice and then move on to the second exercise. I won't show you the second one just yet. Okay, so you've got 30 seconds on with a 20 second rest. Okay, three, two, one, off you go. Lovely feet hip width apart, keep the core nice and tight. Make sure the dumbbells are touching at the top and at the bottom, nice, slow and controlled. Okay, rest there. You've got 20 seconds rest and then you're going again. Off you go. 30 seconds, arms nice and straight. Make sure you're not arching your back. Brilliant. Okay, rest there. Right, next move. Bent over, row. Okay, you're gonna come over, you're gonna row up. Okay, back nice and straight, neck in line, elbows tucked in. Okay, if you could give me a side view so that I can see you, that would be amazing. Off you go. Brilliant. Okay, 
Well done, girls. Make sure that your back isn't curving at all. Make sure that your back is nice and straight and that your neck is in line with your spine. Okay, that's really important. Make sure that you keep your elbows tucked in. Okay. Lauren, just bend down a little bit more. That's it, perfect. Well done. Good work. Okay, rest there. Next exercise, a lateral raise, okay? So you're gonna come up to shoulder height, back down. Okay. Off you go. Just to shoulder height. Keep the arms nice and straight. Core nice and tight. Make sure that the work is only coming from the shoulders, not your back. Really slow the reps down if your weights are quite slow. Um, sorry, your weights are quite light. Lovely, okay. Once more. Off you go. Brilliant girls, well done. Okay, next exercise, you're gonna get into a high plank position. Hands directly under the hand, uh, shoulders. You're gonna plank, you're gonna tap your opposite shoulder. Okay, and what you want to do Right, off you go. What you want to do here is make sure that your hips aren't moving from side to side. They will slightly, but try and keep them nice and still. Fewer reps is better than lots of reps where your body's moving from side to side. Make sure that you're in full control. That body is nice and still. You're just moving the arms. Well done. Rest down. <clears throat> Good work. Go. Brilliant girls, well done. Last few seconds. Amazing, well done. That's your upper body section complete. Grab a drink if you need one. Uh, right, I'm gonna demonstrate the next moves for the lower body. If you want extra resistance, you can use your dumbbells, okay? But you don't have to, you can use just body weight or just hold your dumbbells here, okay? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna demonstrate with dumbbells, but you don't have to use them, okay? So your first exercise, you're gonna squat, curtsy, curtsy. Okay, squat, curtsy, curtsy. 
That is your first move, okay? When you do the curtsy lunge, back knee down as low as possible. Nice, slow and controlled, doesn't have to be fast. And you want to be, um, yeah, getting nice and low with both of the, both of those squats, okay? 30 seconds, off you go. Brilliant girls, last few seconds. You're all doing really well on that. Okay, rest there. Okay, off you go. Perfect. <clears throat> Good work. Okay, next exercise. We're going to use one leg at a time. Okay, so you're going to do a back lunge into a side lunge. Okay, back lunge. Let me just move my camera down slightly. Ignore, ignore the timer. So back lunge into side lunge. Same leg. Okay. Off you go. That back knee down as low as possible. Perfect girls. Lovely, rest there. We're gonna go again on that same leg, okay? You've got your dumbbells if you want that extra resistance. Off you go, same leg. Brilliant. Well done. Okay, a little rest. Then we're going to go again on the other leg. Okay. Off you go, back lunge into side lunge. Good work. Rest there. Last one. Off you go. Brilliant girls. Mm. 
nice and low. Perfect. Okay, rest there. Right, your next exercise. Mountain climbers, okay? So your, your um, hands are gonna be directly under your shoulders. And you're gonna come in like that. Or if you wanna go fast, then obviously go faster. The faster the better, you're gonna get your heart rate up, but if that's too much for you, just go nice and slow. Okay, make sure your hands are directly under your shoulders. Three, two, one, off you go. Perfect, girls. Well done. Last few seconds. Lovely. Well done. Amazing work. Okay, we're going to go again. Off you go. Brilliant girls, keep going, last few seconds. Well done, amazing work. Okay, Russian twists. So you're gonna hold your weight, you're gonna have your, your feet here, you're gonna um, lean back, you're gonna go from side to side. To make it more challenging, you're gonna lift your feet up. Okay, and you're going to go down from side to side. Three, two, one, off you go. Make sure you're leaning back slightly and make sure you can really feel it in your obliques each time. Brilliant girls. Okay, rest there. Off you go. Perfect. If you're finding it a little bit challenging, just pop the weight down. And just do it with your hands. Perfect. Well done. Okay. Full sit-ups, if you can't do a full sit-up, I'm gonna demonstrate what I want you to do. Okay, but if you can do a full sit-up, feet together, back, touch the feet or touch in front of the feet, okay? If you can't do a full sit-up, shoulders up, and then I want you to touch your toes, making sure that your shoulders are off the floor each time. 
Okay, so do whichever option suits you. Three, two, one, off you go. Brilliant. there. Good work. Off you go again. Last set of sit-ups or toe taps. Good work, girls. That is your workout complete. Nice work. Okay, let's stretch. So come into a uh, bum to heels, arms up, come over. Just stay in that child's pose position. Take a deep breath in and as you breathe out, walk your fingers further in front of you, deepening that stretch. Vicky, I've just got to go and get ready for work. So I'll see you later. Thank you. No worries. See you later. Bye. Okay, girls, come up onto your legs, onto your knees, I should say, sorry. Lock your fingers and stretch up. Lovely, take one arm across. Really pull it in so that you can feel the stretch in your shoulder. Lovely, and the other one. Perfect. Okay, come up onto your feet. You're going to come down. Touch the floor, even if you have to just bend your knees slightly. Feel the stretch in the hamstrings and the lower back as well. Lovely, slowly come up, lift one leg up, knees together, push the hips forward. Got a message from someone. Oh, no worries Zoe, I'm not sure if you're still there. Oh, change legs girls. Knees together. Push the hips forward. Mm -hmm. 
Lovely. Okay, this time keep your legs straight and come down as low as you can go. Lovely. Slowly come up. Give your shoulders a roll. And that is your Monday morning session done.